Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Red Dirt Road podcast. I am your new host. Uh, just kidding. <laughs> uh, Marshall is out sick, which is very unfortunate. But lucky you, I will be hosting today's podcast, and the show must go on. Um, so my name is Emma Wolpert. I'm Marshall's fiance. I've been on a few episodes, but this is my first of many solo episodes, dot, 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 maybe, if I can convince him to put me on more. Anyways, um, let's get into it. So today we are covering I Can't Put Out This Fire, written by Kix Brooks and Ronnie Dunn, and this is sung by Kix Brooks. It's three minutes and 40 seconds in length. And a fact about it is it's the second least popular song on Spotify from this album, Hardworking Man. And it barely beats out Texas Woman, Don't Stay Lonely for Long. So into the breakdown, we start out with an enjoyable 20 second intro that goes heavy on the fiddle. And I love fiddles and think it has a beautiful rhythm. It's a great intro. Then Kix Brooks starts singing and you quickly realize the song is about a breakup. As the narrator says, quote, had another falling out of love. Marshall says he got a there's a telephone ringing kind part two kind of vibe to this song. And for those of you who don't know, there's a telephone ringing is a Kix Brooks song from his debut album. And in that song, a couple breaks up and Kix is calling her multiple times, wanting her back and mentions he's calling her from a telephone booth. But in this song, uh, the song I that we're covering, I can't. The song we're covering, I can't put out this fire. He seems he says, seems like every time I call you, I'm standing in the pouring rain. So there's kind of a pattern here. Lots of phone calls to ex-girlfriends, I guess. Uh, very unfortunate, but um, you know, your kind of your country ballad love song, your country breakup song. That's what happens. <laughs> um, as we get into the chorus, the song says, quote, I know it's over, but this old heart's still burning with desire, and we are pleasantly greeted with a well-timed steel guitar that stays throughout the chorus, which is really nice. He goes on to ask if she still doesn't love him anymore, either to get her back or to confirm that he should move on, um, but he can't seem to move on. Then there's a nice fiddle bridge, and we go right into verse two. It seems like she finally answered one of his calls. So yay for that. As he says, quote, it's good to hear your voice again. I can almost see your smile. And it seems like they catch up a little about old times. And then the call ends and Kix just goes home since there's nothing else for him to do except cry because of his heartbreak, I guess. And he says he wishes he would stop dreaming about her. So this breakup is, is really tearing him up which is very sad. And we get back to the chorus of him still wanting her back and needing her to confirm with him again that they are over since he can't move on, since his heart can't put out this fire on its own. And that's where the song title comes in of Kix just not being able to get over this, this woman. And we end with about a 20 second outro featuring the fiddle again, kind of a repeat of the intro, which I really like that it has kind of that repetition, that full circle repetition of pulling everything together. And so that is the song, the three minutes and 40 second breakdown of the song and some of the lyrics just to give everyone an idea of what it's about. And now I'm going to give my opinion of it. This um, this is the first time I've listened to the song. Um, and as I'm going through this, Marshall gave me some of his opinions and some notes. So I'll let you all know what he was thinking and what he thinks about the song as well. Marshall says, 
This is probably tied for the second best Kicks Brooks, Kicks Brooks led Brooks and Dunn song so far that we've reviewed behind Lost and Found, but tied with Mexican Minutes. He really likes the instruments and musicians. He thinks they made this into a really good song. Um, and Marshall just really likes it. This sounds so much like a continuation of There's a Telephone Ringing, which is the song I talked about earlier on Kix's um, debut album. And Marshall also likes, our, our Marshall also thinks that Ronnie's voice would have fit well here, but Kix does a very fine job. And I think... Kicks does a very fine job as well. And we all love Ronnie Dunn's voice. It's very strong, very powerful. But I think I, when I listened to it, I kind of had to listen a few times and it took me a second to be like, wait, this is, this is Kicks, right? This isn't some other country singer. Or I don't know. <laughs> obviously, obviously it's one of them. It's either Ronnie or Kicks because that's, that's the band. Um, but yeah, I really like the song. I Again, as I said earlier, I really love the fiddle. I think the fiddle and the steel guitar are your classic essential instruments for a great country song. And those two really tie the song together. Like I said, bringing a full circle with the intro and the outro being very similar. They might even be the same. Um, I'm not totally sure, <laughs> but I think it's a really great song. It's sad that it's about heartbreak. It seems like every time I listen to a Kicks Brook song, it's all about heartbreak or him losing a woman or him trying to get a woman back. Something, something's gone wrong in that re the relationship that he's trying to fix and mend of some sort. Um, so that is that is very unfortunate for him. But overall, I think that the song just is a nice, slow ballad. It's a really, it has a nice rhythm. It's a nice, it's a nice calm song that you can, that when you listen to it, you can, it's just a nice like background sound, but also a lot of emotion to it. You can tell by the lyrics that Kix is really torn up inside. And, you know, it is if anyone has ever been through a really rough breakup or really liked somebody and then had their heart broken. It's like they definitely could relate to the song of how it feels of you're dreaming about them and you're wanting to see their smile one last time. I don't know if you're constantly calling them uh 24 7 over and over again maybe that's a bit excessive um uh, but you know in this song it really it shows how much kicks how much this woman meant to meant to kicks and how how strong he thought their love was and how he misses it that much that it's it's tearing him up inside and he, he needs help putting out this fire in him that he just can't, can't put out the fire on his own. And with that being said, that is, that is it. That's all we got for this episode. Um, I can't put out this fire written by Ronnie Dunn and Kix Brooks and sung by Kix Brooks. If you really like the song, feel free to comment on the Instagram page or let us know your thoughts, whatever, whatever you think, definitely let us know. We would love to hear from you. Take a listen to some of our past episodes and stay tuned for more upcoming episodes. Thanks. And we'll see you all next time. Bye.